Hello everyone and welcome to Neil's Legion Fishing Achievements Guide. I am Neil, your friendly warrior tank from Medivh and I help people earn achievements. I'm going to assume for this guide that you haven't done anything for fishing uh, so that you have leveled up your tune to 110 and you are ready to start and work on all of the fishing achievements. Let's take a look at what they are. That's not the collections guide, that's the achievements guide. Under professions, under fishing, uh, the Wish Remover, Bigger Fish to Fry, Legion Fisherman, Legion Art Aquaculture. Those are the um, four achievements. Bigger Fish to Fry is catching all of the rare fish in Legion. There's another achievement that's now hidden that's catching one of the rare fish in Legion. There is a, a last achievement that I have not yet achieved, which is Fishing Around the Isle which is a little RNG, complete all of the fishing world quests. That's really just um, waiting for all of the fishing world quests to pop up on your map and to complete them. Uh, so we won't uh, really talk about that one. RNG, uh, check your map every day. Go do those fishing quests if you want to finish that feat of strength. So uh, we have just hearthed into Dalaran, and the first thing we'd like to do uh, to start on our fishing is come talk to Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Marsha is the fishing trainer in Dalaran by the uh, fountain. Uh, she will train you in your fishing. If you have not already uh, learned f legion fishing, talk to Marsha. She can help you out. You should pr probably also go to the bank and make sure you got plenty of space in your bags. I don't have plenty of space in my bags, uh, but if I were going to work on legion fishing, I'd want to make sure there was plenty of room in my bags for all the fish I'm about to catch. And then the next thing you want to do is get over to the fishing island. Uh, there's two ways to get over the fishing island. I'm going to show you the way that I've always done it. Uh, that is, head down into the Dalaran sewers. When you head down into the Dalaran sewers, um, even though I've got the buff that the sewer guards are out and nobody's going to kill me, I'm still going to talk to the Raithen and hire a personal bodyguard for five gold. He's going to give me a bodyguard. He's right here. I usually put uh, a marker on his head to make sure he I see that he's around. Also, I'd like to focus him. You can see those are my five minutes that I have just bought. With my bodyguard in hand, um, I head over to where the um, where the black market auction house is. So straight down, take a right. Where did it go? Oh, I passed it up. It's a little dark in here today. Dark in the sewers. I uh, come over here to where the black market auction house is, and you can fish. Uh, if you didn't know this already, you can fish for sightless eyes in the area for the black market auction house where those green puddle circles are. Those are uh, fishing pools for sightless eyes. Doing a bad job of fishing from the pools at the moment, but uh, should only take a couple of casts. Uh, to pop up. Come on, pools. Catching stuff from not in a pool catches trash fish. So they usually only last for one catch per pool. But you can catch fish up sightless eyes, which helps you with your. Uh, now we've got unamused imps. So we got to kill the unamused imps so that we can fish. You can't fish in combat. Everybody knows that. Good thing about killing the unamused imps is you're going to pick up some sightless eyes towards your rat stallion mount. some sightless eyes there. They don't really help. The sewer guards are back and this is why I bought my bodyguard. I've still got uh, where did we go? three minutes of bodyguard time. Let's see if that's enough to get the teleportation device that I need. Which you can only get from the Dalaran sewers. So there's a sightless eye. Pool fishing is an art. You should um, work on it and be practiced at it by the time you finish these fishing achievements. 
There it is. That's what I'm looking for. The Emblem of Margos. So this is a teleportation device that teleports the caster to Margus's retreat. That's what we were down here for. Uh, usually I would uh, finish out my underbelly guards time uh, and fish up or kill some rares in order to get more sightless eyes, but I'm making a video, so I got what I came in here for, Margos's emblem, emblem of Margos. So we're going to head over to Margos's retreat. Now there's another way to get over to Margos's retreat. You don't have to get the emblem of Margos. If you don't want to go into the sewers, you don't have to. Uh, it's just what I have always done because I'm working on getting my rat stallion a little bit at a time. Uh, a couple hundred every day uh, with a bodyguard in tow. The other way to get to Margos's retreat, they tell me, and I've not done it before, is to head over to the pet tamer area. I went the wrong way to get to the pet tamer area. Head over to the Master Pet Tamer area, which is um, the other side of the Dalaran sewers. Walk through the wall over here. This is where the Pet Tamers are. Uh, the island is visible. Oh, there it is. It's right over there. So from here, you should be able to glide. And I'll try it. So if I clicked on that teleportation device, it would take me right over there. Uh, alternatively, if I glide, jump off and glide, I should land up there. So, Let's try that. And just like that, I'm on Margos's Island. Now, there are people here. This is, uh, if, you, if you're here for the first time on Margos's Island, here's Margos right here. I'll talk to him, I'll put a cross on him. So he, he's got, if, you're, if it's your first time here, he'll have a quest for you. The quest is to give him one um, arcane mana. Uh, the important thing about Margos is this pool, not arcane mana, drowned mana. He needs drowned mana for what he's going to do. Uh, to get drowned mana, you have to fish from this pool on this island. It's the only place to get drowned mana. Uh, there's two ways to get drowned mana out of the pool. Uh, one, uh, you have an uninfused pool, and about one out of every seven casts, you will dr uh, fish up drowned mana. The other thing is to get an infused pool, in which case every time you cast uh, into the pool and fish something up, you will fish up drowned mana. Now the way to infuse the pool is to kill this guy, Ar Aquos, the unyielding or unleashed, Aquaos the unleashed. Uh, the way you get Aquaos the unleashed to come out is you fish up a mark of Aquos and throw it into the pool. That's how Aquaos comes out. Once Aquos is dead, you don't loot anything, but you get an infused pool. This is what an infused pool looks like. It is um, fizzing. Uh, and now if we fish from the pool, you will see every time we catch something from the fish from the pool, we will get one drowned mana. So there we were, one drowned mana, two drowned mana, and a fish. You can either get one or two drowned mana every time you fish up drowned mana. It's either going to be one or two. Uh, the infusion lasts for about two and a half minutes every time you kill Aquaos. Uh, if you uh, fish up a, a Mark of Aquaos, or you have a Mark of Aquaos and the pool is already infused, there is no reason at all to throw that into the pool while the pool is infused like this fizzy pool. Uh, it will not extend the time of fizzy pool. It does not restart the timer. Uh, it only wastes your time killing a 40 million uh, health add uh, and not being able to fish from the pool that is infused. So uh, do not throw the mark in if the pool is infused, but once the pool has stopped being infused, go ahead, throw your mark, re-infuse the pool uh, so that you can fish up the mark of aquas. Now there's a couple of things that you can do with the, uh, uh, so that you can fish up the undrowned man or drowned man. Words are tough today. Words are tough today. Uh, fish up the drowned mana. There's a couple things you want to do with drowned mana. Uh, so there's two options here. Two options here. Uh, one, our friend Margos over here, uh, will sell us a mount and a pet, uh, an underwater mount and a stingray pup pet, if we are best friends with him uh, for drowned mana. The way to become best friends with him is to give him lots and lots and lots of drowned mana. Um, so that is option one. You can come over here and start working on that. It is not required for the any of the achievements. There is no achievement for getting the mount. There is no achievement for getting the pet. 
is just something that you need to fish a lot uh, for to be able to complete. Uh, so uh, when you come over to the island, the first thing you could do is uh, join a fishing raid and uh, fish up your drowned mana uh, so that you can get from uh, neutral to best friend with Margos and then uh, buy your pet and your mount. Uh, the other thing that you want to do, and the reason we are here now, uh, is you can for drowned mana buy arcane lures. That's what we really want, need for the achievement run that we're going to do. We need the drowned mana for the arcane lures. So whether you fish up and become uh, best friends and get your mount and your pet first or last, just note to self you'll need to do that at some point. Uh, and so now we've got an un infused pool you can see one more fizz last about two and a half minutes you'll see now once we fish from the pool probably about one in every seven we got uh, we got some mana there uh, but it is now not a guaranteed every time you loot that you will get drowned mana so you see right there I didn't get drowned mana uh, so since I've already done this I'll just show you that when you come talk to Margos uh, you can give him drowned mana or 10 drowned mana to increase your reputation with him. I'm already best friends with him, so I don't need to do that. Uh, he does have rare fishing goods, and he will sell you arcane lures for one drowned mana uh, at any reputation with him. So um, I just fished up 23. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and buy 23 lures. Because that's really all that I could buy some bobbers, but. Uh, so I spent, I'm going to spend all my mana on the on the lures because that's what I oops, so many I got three. All right, so now I've got 29 RK lures because I had some yesterday, uh, and I can do what else I'm going to do. You can also see the stingray pup goes for 50 drowned mana. The brine deep bottom feeder goes for 100 drowned mana. Uh, note to self, you can only hold 100 drowned mana at a time. You can only hold 100 drowned mana at a time. So turn them in every time you get to 100. Increase your rep or buy some stuff. Uh, if you're curious. Now this is why people are raiding. Uh, if you go to your pre-made groups, your custom, you find a group, type in fish. You're going to see there's two groups right now fishing for drowned mana. Uh, the reason you want to join those groups is because uh, in those groups you're generally going to have uh, aquos up all the time. You're going to have a infused pool up all the time. Uh, I joined a fishing raid the other night and in basically three hours, 45 minutes, four hours, uh, I went from zero reputation with uh, Margos to best friends and a mount and a pet. So um, certainly I'm a human and the human um, ratio for rep uh, grinding is helpful for that. Uh, but on the average, if you're fishing, and I was actively fishing the entire time, it's going to take you four hours or so uh, to go from no rep at all to picking up your mount and your pet from Margos. You can do that now, you can do it first, or you can do it later, whichever you choose. Also, if you talk to Margos, he will teleport you back to Dalaran, which is what I'm going to do now. Now, the next thing that you need to do for the fishing achievements, the next thing I would focus on is uh, the bigger fish to fry. So uh, bigger fish to fry is to catch all of the rare legion fish in legion. Catch all of the rare legion fish. Now you might think, oh goodness, that's sort of difficult. Um, there's a long list of those. There's um, uh, 18 rare fish. Uh, it's not that hard actually to catch rare fish in legion. Wowhead has a great guide uh, for it. Search for bigger fish to fry. I'm going to look at the comments. Uh, and they've got a nice little chart here that shows you uh, what we're talking about. Uh, so basically there are three different rare fish in each zone. Three in High Mountain, the Ancient High Mountain Salmon, the Cold River Carp, the Mountain Puffer, the Valshara has the Ancient Moss Gill, the Terror Fin, the Thorn Flounder, Azuna has the Lay Shimmer Blenny, the Narthalus Tournament, the Ghostly Queenfish, Suramar, Magic Eater Frog, Tainted Runescale Koi, Seer Spine Puffer. 
Stormheim has the Thundering Storm Ray, the Oodle Fisk Gray Belly Lobster, and the Coastal Areas have the Axe Fish, Sea Bottom Squid, and the Ancient Black Barracuda. Now, uh, you see more than 18 things here because um, basically each of the things that you can fish up helps you catch rare fish. Uh, some of them give you lures that help you uh, catch the fish. Some of them uh, give you buffs to catch the fish. Some of them uh, bring out ads that you kill and catch the fish. Uh, some of them uh, allow you the ability to see the pools to catch the fish. So uh, basically you are looking for the three things that help you catch the fish in each zone. Uh, so what you would do at this point is go to each zone and farm the items that help you catch the rare fish. So if I were going to Azuna, I would want to fish up uh, a scrog toenail, which um, after two minutes the scrog toenail, uh, a murloc pops out whether you've uh, opened it or not. And once you kill him, you pick up the aroma aromatic murloc slime, and that's what you need to get the lay shimmer blenny. Uh, you want to fish up a pearlescent conch, uh, and you want to fish up a rusty queen fish brooch. Now they've got notes at the bottom that explain all of what's going on with each of these items so that you understand uh, what's going on. So note number five says, Scrog Toenail is an item that will summon a salt eye Scrog Hunter that drops the aromatic Merlox line on you. Most of these things can be left in your bags and I would recommend leaving them in your bags um, until you have all three for each zone and then using them back to back to back. Uh, the reason is, if you have one of them in your bags, you can't get another one. They are unique items, so uh, for instance, if you p fish up a pearlescent conch and then use it to catch the Nartholist Hermit, uh, and keep fishing for the other two rare items, uh, you could fish up another pearlescent conch. That's not terrible. They do sell for nice sums on the auction house, but it can be frustrating after a while. So I would wait till you've got all three for each zone, then use all three of them to get your rare fish. Uh, so basically you're going to travel to each of the five zones, High Mountain, Valshara, Azuna, Soramar, Stormheim, catch the three rare fish from each zone, and then uh, go to a coastal region. So that's really uh, just an area on the outside of your map. You'll know you're in a coastal region. Oh, that's a nice deal. Way to go. Uh, you'll know you're in a coastal region, so anything on the sort of outside of the map. Uh, some of the inland areas are considered coastal. You know you're in a coastal zone because the pools that you're seeing are uh, blackwater barracuda pools. Uh, so if you're seeing blackwater barracuda pools, you know you're in a coastal area. Uh, also, I would mention you should probably uh, be fishing from pools for all of this fishing. Uh, it's going to uh, give you a better chance for fishing all of uh, fishing up the um, lures. It's going to give you a better chance for catching things from fishing from pools. Um, congrats, Corey, on finishing up your Cosmoth the Hungering. Got your Hungering Claw, congrats, congrats. Um, so uh, fish from pools. Also, we got those arcane lures, and you want to use those arcane lures as you are looking for the pools. Uh, if we go back into the game, you can see when I use an arcane lure, I'm going to get a buff that gives me a 100% increased chance to catch bait in the Broken Isles. So uh, I want to pop the lure. I want to go into... Uh, pools in each of the zones. I want to fish up these items, make sure I've got all three, uh, pop them, catch the rare fish, uh, and then I want to catch all 18 of the rare fish so that I can finish bigger fish to fry. While you're doing that, you're probably going to get Legion Fishermen. You're probably going to get Legion Aquaculture just from the um, requirement to uh, catch so many of those rare fish. Uh, getting to 800 skill points is easy because every rare fish that you catch before you have the um, before you have the artifact fishing pole, uh, you can throw back in the water and it gives you five skill points. So I had a lot of extra rare fish when I was done. Got to 800 skill points pretty quickly. You're going to catch 100 fish in the process of doing this. So those two achievements will be taken care of. Uh, you can also note, and this is something that I did do. Uh, toward the end of um, fishing. Once you get to that last one, if you're having trouble picking, uh, 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 catching the rare fish bait, if you're having trouble fishing up the rare fish, you can go to the auction house. The lures are all um, items that you could sell 
on the auction house. Uh, so you can buy them from the auction house. You can only hold one at a time. So if there's one of the lures that you're having trouble getting, if there's one of the rare fish you're having trouble getting, uh, know that you can go to the auction house. They are pretty pricey. Uh, I think I spent 10,000 gold on two of them. One of them was pretty cheap, less than a thousand. One of them was like 8,000. Uh, but it was the last two lures I needed, so fish up those rare fish. Once you've accomplished bigger fish to fry, once you've gotten bigger fish to fry, the next thing you want to do is continue fishing from pools and you are looking for a luminous pearl. Uh, a luminous pearl is a quest starter. Uh, once you have bigger fish to fry, you are then eligible to catch it. You need to be 110, 110 level. You need to have completed bigger fish to fry. Then you go get your fish up your luminous pearl. Again, you want to use your arcane lure. You can fish them up from pools. You can fish them up from open water. They tell me. Once you um, start the quest, you'll go see Cadgar. Cadgar will say, "What do you want me to do with this?" He'll send you to. Um, he'll send you back to Marsha. Marsha will then throw your pearl into the fountain, and the pearl becomes the artifact forge for the artifact weapon that you're about to go get. So you can see now in my stream, here's a pearl. If I uh, if I equip my artifact weapon. And now, okay. should be able to interact with the pearl. Uh, once she throws the pearl into the fountain, uh, at that point, uh, Nat Pagel is going to walk up, and you're going to—he's going to give you a quest that will start a scenario. The scenario, um, basically, you go to this island, you kill a bunch of murlocs, you fish on the island, you um, use the fish that you just caught on the island to summon up a big bad ugly you kill the big bad ugly uh you take something off of his head you bring him back to marcia she turns that into the legendary item the artifact weapon which is the uh under light angler the under light angler uh the under light angler has um artifact it's an artifact weapon so um you can use it to um get some special buffs in legion uh, I guess they work world throughout the world. The first one that you pick up is Earned Current, which allows you to teleport to the nearest fishing node. Uh, this can be helpful when moving around the world. Someone told me they used it because they, they were at the bottom of a waterfall, wanted to get to the top of a waterfall. They used Undercurrent to do that, so that can be a helpful move around the world thing. Uh, the second thing you pick up is a passive that will grant you the chance to fish up Blood of Sargeras while you are fishing. Uh, and then you start moving towards your uh, golden traits, uh, one which is become a fish when underwater, allowing you to breathe and swim rapidly. Uh, so that was the first one that I chased after. The second one is um, Way of the Flounder. It reduces the enemy detection range by five yards while fishing. So if you get frustrated with things um, uh, attacking you while you're fishing, uh, the second golden trait uh, allows you to reduce the range in which they can detect you. So the way that you fish up artif or the way that you earn artifact power for your um, fishing artifact weapon is you need to fish them up. So you need to go back to those rare pools, not rare pools, you need to go back to those pools. You need more arcane lures and that's why I went and got some more myself. Uh, you want to go to those pools, fish up more rare fish. Now with the artifact weapon under light angler equipped, uh, with the arcane lures on, when you fish up those rare fish, uh, they become uh, 50 plus uh, artifact power uh, when you throw them back into the pool. Uh, so the stuff that you caught before the arc, you had the under light angler doesn't count. Uh, anything that you catch without the ar under light angler equipped doesn't count. Uh, if you didn't, ha don't, if you have a, your other weapon equipped while you're throwing them back into the pool, it doesn't count. So go ahead and equip that under light angler. Go fish in the rare pools. Fish up some rare fish. Uh, use them to power up your underlight angler and max it out. Uh, so that covers, so that's not an achievement either, but if you're like me, you'd like to get that underlight angler. Uh, I wonder why I can't interact with the pearl. Weird. Weird. Yesterday when I was fishing here. So the, um, the last thing that I'll talk about is the wish remover. The wish remover. Uh, fish up all of the coins from the Broken Isles Dalaran Fountain. 
Uh, I did this yesterday and the day before. I spent two days working on it, uh, several hours. Um, I will say this. You can fish from the Dalaran Fountain without using uh, any lures, without using any bait. And I did that for the first, oh, 600 cast or so. Uh, and in 600 cast into the Dalaran Fountain, I caught um, 105 coins. So about one every six cast, I caught a coin. And 50 of them were unique. You need 56 of unique coins to finish the... Um, the achievement you need 56 of different coins to wish to get the wish remover uh, so at 600 cast I was at 50 of those coins after catching 105 so uh, a couple of duplicates several duplicates uh, the other thing to know about this is Marsha 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 will sell you lures so you look at the hyper the lures eight lures that she's got here the hyper magnetic lure the uh, Areophagic Sardine, the Glob of Really Sticky Glue, the Micro Vortex Generator, the Wish Crystal, the al al Alchemical Bonding Agent, Starfish on a String, and Tiny Little Grabbing Apparatus. Uh, those eight lures can um, help you catch the coins from the fountain. Uh, my experience yesterday, um, after those first 600, 610 casts, um, I then started buying lures. The lures last for three minutes. They cost four, about five gold. They, they last for three minutes. Using the different lures, uh, I had 290 casts. 290 casts. In those 290 casts, I caught 165 coins. Uh, so, what is that? A little over one every other cast. I was catching coins with the lures, um, but it took me those 290 casts to catch fish up those last six uh, coins that I needed. So I'm not sure if I had started using the lures, if it would have been faster or not. Uh, the last coin seemed to take forever. I don't know, I uh, probably fished up five of the six that I needed in the first, I don't know, less than 50 cast. Uh, I had five of the six, so the last 200 something cast were really looking for one stinking coin, and I finally got it. So, um, just to review uh, fishing in Legion. Uh, first thing I would do, come talk to Marsha, get your fishing skill up, um, learn your Legion fishing. Uh, go into the Dalaran sewers and um, pick up your bodyguard. When you do, go fish up your emblem of Margos so you can teleport over to the island. Uh, or you can glide over to the island. We showed you how to do that from the pet trainer area. Um, at when on the island you're looking for drowned mana, you need enough drowned mana to pick up either arcane lures or to work on picking up your mount and your pet from the from Margos over there. Uh, again, to fish up the pet and the, or fish up enough drowned mana for the pet and the mount. It took me about four hours in a fishing raid to do that the other day. Uh, it's about 900 drowned mana plus or minus uh, to get from no rep to best friend and enough to get your pet and your mouth. Uh, you also need drowned mana to, to pick up arcane lures. You can get do those at any reputation with Margos. Use the arcane lures to get the rare fish um, lures around um, Legion around the Broken Isles, you use those, uh, you need three lures in each zone, plus three in the uh, sea areas, the ocean areas, uh, to get the 18 rare fish. Those 18 rare fish then get to the achievement, uh, bigger fish to fry, then you can fish up your, your luminescent pearl, and then you can uh, start the quest line to get your underwater arc light, your legion artifact weapon. Uh, what's it called? Under light angler. Under light angler. Uh, then you go fish up more rare fish to give it the artifact power and max it out and spend a couple of hours at the fountain to fish up all the coins. The bait is nice. Gives you about uh, a coin every uh, two casts, one coin every two casts or so. Uh, the no lures give you about one every six casts or so. Not sure which is more or less frustrating. Anyway, that's how you do those fishing achievements. Corey, to who is Dwarfy, thanks for tuning in. Uh, that's how you do the fishing. It took me a couple of days to finish all the fishing. I, I guess I'm not really finished because I'm still working on my artifact power. 
on the underlight angler. Uh, not sure how much uh, I'm going to need to max it out, but I'm sure I'll get that done pretty soon. And because I am salty Neil, which is obviously a fishing title, uh, I enjoy the fishing. I'm doing it as much as I can. Anyway, I hope this you find this helpful. This will be up on YouTube later today. Uh, I'm going to eat some lunch and then come back for Good Morning Azeroth. Y'all have a great day. I want to say a big thanks, though. Big thanks to our patrons. They make all of this possible. They make all of this possible. Regnava, Zuki, Neil, Adafluzi, Tinder, Mova, Carl, Lucky B, Infinitron, Shigan, Fantheria, Equin, Sucha, Morasha, Petsy, The Beer Guy, Lean Beef, Coco, Nadi, Dwarfy, Azurea, Nosa, J, Divad, Mystical, Zelo, Kalai. They make this possible. Thanks to those guys. Uh, and for as little as two bucks a month, you too can get thanked every time Neil does a program. Go over to patreon.com, the Neils, and sign up and get other cool rewards over there as well. Y'all have fun storming the castle today, and remember fire, it's still bad. This X-Pack, y'all have a great one.